The phrase breaking the internet irks me a little. Like, I understand it means that someone is excited about a bunch of people learning of something they love, but it's just so odd. It's rated 7 out of 10, has 19 letters, can't be mirrored, you can't tell much as pretend that it's even. For starters, heck does it even mean? How literally are we supposed to take it? Can I smack it? But more urgently, has anything truly managed to legitimately break the internet? Like, actually get the internet to malfunction or outright halt operation? Shockingly, for every manner to look at the term, it's happened. From groundbreaking or exciting events having a massive cultural impact to provoking a large portion of the net to become unusable for some reason or other. Would you buy it if I said this all begun over a bot? Yep, the person who coined the phrase, or at least popularized it, was Kim Kardashian, preaching how good her ass looked in this infamous internet picture, which I have to admit goes hard, and I speak as someone who considers the Kardashians are amateurs who can fucking suck it. But this picture is so perfectly stupid. Did it damage the internet? Not really. It was relatively discussed, but people tend to address celebrities publishing nudes. No shit they would. It was an attempt to virality made through the backbone of a famous person, which doesn't make it viral, it just makes it popular. Anyway, let's talk about examples that don't get me demonetized. Besides, no one saying this is thinking about Kim's booty. Mine's superb, but I don't trend over it. No one cares about who invented the expression or popularized it, ever. The term is most frequently used to describe things that didn't do crap on the internet, yet a finite subsegment did see some form of impact. How many shows have faded into existence out of nothing to jump scrutiny at 3am where the fanbase just doesn't sh 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 shut up for weeks about an upcoming development? Like, I've wanted to read One Piece for a while now, but now I will never because I don't feel like it because fans were so excited about Luffy's 5 gear breaking the internet that they spoiled the entirety of it without no internet being even remotely broken. So the usage of the term effectively created a lose-lose scenario for the purposes of the saying. Sanji might be cooking, but fans of his franchise sure ain't. That's it, this particular community was momentarily in a time of internet rapture around the reddit slash twitter slash several piracy anime websites with regards to a notable event. This kind of non but rapture for a particular fandom happens recurrently. Jojo fans went nuts when Jojo showed up, the Paper Mario community collapsed onto the floor creating a mini earthquake when the Thousand Year Door remake was confirmed. I think SpongeBob viewers get excited over any mention of the word sweet and victory. People who are into politics explode anytime anyone says anything. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Why would you draw them like this? What did they do? What did this person do? And there's totally an alternate timeline where Minecraft added item filters and everything is better. I mean, if you look at fiction, what is impossible? It's the most evident place where the internet has been broken. And the most straightforward topic regarding partially achieving it. When Steve from Minecraft was announced as a DLC fighter for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the internet survived, except everyone who was into video games talked about it, as huge sites like Twitter struggled to keep up with the activity search Steven brought about. This has got to be what I envision when people say something will break the internet. Not completely going down, but having a subsegment of it collapse in on itself to create a black hole of please bring the site back online so I can procrastinate further instead of achieving my goals in life or doing anything else of note. Fiction takes to make scenarios where the internet is broken. Let me just google movies about the apocalypse real quick so I can bring up a movie I haven't heard of as an example. Akira. Okay, maybe that's a terrible example and Google Hella just called me a nerd. So, there's this series called The IT Crowd. It's astonishingly funny yet seldomly talked about. Basically, this tech ignorant woman called Jen is appointed as the boss of two computer nerds, Roy and Moss, who work as the IT department of a giant corporation where they get to slack uh, off a lot no because IT. most people haven't try tried turning, turning it, it off and on, on again. again. In one episode, they decide to prank Jen by giving her a box which they claim to be THE internet. <laughs> What is Jen doing with the internet? This was for a company shareholder speech she was to deliver, where everybody buys that a council of elders decided to let her showcase the internet for her speech. And you guessed it, the internet breaks after their boss tosses his ex-girlfriend into the meeting room as they were fighting because he couldn't get over the fact that she was transgender. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that is the actual plot of this episode. So Jen broke the internet in a fictional setting, which means that, yes indeed, something has broken the internet. Now suppose we were to take a more cultural approach to this. Ralph broke the internet. I in his Oscar-nominated film, Ralph Breaks the Internet, remember? Would it be an understatement to say this movie might be the worst sequel in cinematic history? So in this movie, Ralph becomes an insufferable jealous prick that goes into the internet installed at his arcade so he can do something nice for a friend and ends up fundraising some money to repair his best friend's arcade machine, which initially broke after he decided to be an absolutely brain-dead idiot, by the way. To this end, he puts his face on viral videos, just turning into a meme, cause memedom solves everything, and later he becomes a virus for whatever reason. Have the people who made this movie ever opened, I don't know, Google? 
Excuse me, Goggle, mispronouncing brand names is the peak of comedy. Everybody follow me on X! Stopping myself from crapping on this movie anymore. Uh, what matters here is how this movie interpreted breaking the internet, because Ralph breaks it by becoming obscenely popular. And now everything is Raphael. I love naming fictional sharks by the full namesake. Uh, it's a ridiculous idea in paper, except Among Us. Yep, I guess some pills managed to gain omnipotence for a period. I recall growing tired of endlessly being exposed to him for no evident reason, and the frustrating part was, I didn't even have friends to play it with, so I scarcely cared. Yet, I kept spotting them, on YouTube, on profile pictures, as plushies advertised with a paper printout of a big PNG next to a price tag for too lofty of a price for the value. Here's Corin, I got him for $5 a few months ago and I adore him. Anyways, wanna spend $20 for a 10 centimeter Among Us? I'm dead serious, if I consider franchises that broke the internet metaphysically, Among Us is a shoehorn candidate. Because I genuinely think this idiotic franchise broke something about my sense of humor, and it's not idiotic, I'm just calling it idiotic because I'm angry at it. Also, indirectly, my spirits, because if I had YouTuber friends I could have joined for free publicity. Yeah, does it matter? Nothing's the same now, because I chuckle at the words among and us when you combine it together. That screwed up! And nobody ever sought to spin Among Us as an internet breaking phenomenon, it simply occurred. Also, the jokes aren't genuinely funny, it just broke the internet in matters of influence. I don't really think breaking the internet is a replicable phenomenon one can trigger. But reality in general can only be four so far, so most people or media that achieved the feat didn't necessarily get acknowledged. It's almost like you can't expect the unexpected to happen. Because let me tell you, the times where the internet so much as threatened to break, no one was happy. As you can tell, a big portion of the prior examples relate to fiction. Because that's my channel's motto. But let me disregard the rules for once and get real. <laughs> You can ask this Amazon employee from 2017 who misinputed a command and broke half the services on the internet, then probably got fired for having fat fingers, except we don't know who that guy is. This is an image from this person does not exist.com. And being realistic, this person probably didn't get fired. The program should have not allowed a faulty command to proceed, but I digress. There's been many other Amazon web service outages, which don't knock Amazon's own website. And in this case, sites like Pinterest, Quora, and BuzzFeed were out cold for 10 hours in major US cities. This might be the biggest internet subsequent to explore in a modern age. Pretty impactful, but it got fixed relatively quickly. Let's be honest, the internet in 2023 is massive. You got 15 hours of godly smash tomatoes content for starters, but this is only a few gigabytes where the entire internet holds over 64 zettabytes. That's not a Dragon Ball C charger, that's 1 trillion gigabytes. You'll be hard pressed to knock down a big portion of the billions of websites online. It's simply not possible for a living human to break the internet entirely in 2023. Notice how I said living human. So let's get older, but let's also get bigger. N no, this is not a Viagra sponsorship. What made you think that? The only blue pills I'm having are Mentos. We are going back to 1988, where a massive segment of computers were infected by one of the first internet worms known simply as the Morris Worm, after its creator, Robert Topham Morris. This virus, I'm not gonna get technical, has most importantly been turned into an anime girl. It also resulted in the fourth conviction of an internet criminal being the first convicted for a virus, so I guess it was a pretty big deal. The actual virus was shorter than a beginner programmer's odd number algorithm before someone shows up with a percentage symbol to make them feel like a massive fucking idiot, but it did contain code to guess weak passwords and the like, and after cracking a password successfully, it will mail itself to other computers to get jalapeno business, duplicating itself occasionally to warm other computers up, eventually re-emailing itself back to users until the duplication caused them to begin running about as low as mine when I opened three instances of Sony Vegas or just a YouTube video on Cookie Clicker at the same time. This caused the internet to go down for a few days, as partitions of it were separated to avoid users getting it again, and mails went out completely. It managed to infect research centers and military bases despite having code not to, but thankfully no data was lost. That fucking broke the internet now, didn't it? It's funny, cause these are all geeky reasons for it to happen. There's no pop culture event so big as ARE YOU WALKING ANNIE? That's right! Michael Jackson broke the internet and all he had to do was die. Google, Yahoo, Wikipedia, and AOL were all completely out for 40 minutes to several hours. It may have happened 14 years ago, but that's 2009, well into the internet's existence and not for it to be commonly used by basically everybody. Even I. Though so admittedly in internet years, that is pretty old. This event caused Google to flag itself with the SCRIMITWARE ON YOUR ATTACK protocol, which nullified it for millions of users. Traffic increased three or four times over average for most sites where the news may have spread, overloading their servers relatively quickly. It was quite a situation, more when you consider that another massive celebrity, Farah Fawcett, died a few hours before, and I can confidently say this is the one time the internet genuinely broke in the full splendor of the line, because something so massive and sudden happened at the right time in history. If this had happened in 2011, the story might be completely different. Michael Jackson is the only person who has broken the internet through sheer impact, and it really makes you think no human alive has ever managed to truly break the internet.
there is one thing that will eventually break the internet for months, which would be the sun. A solar flare of enough magnitude could break almost every technological system we rely on as humans, including the internet. This would be the biggest display of the internet being broken, and we probably couldn't see it coming. It just happened. Humanity would collapse and the internet would be broken. Not partially, not by segments, not in a culturally comedic way. The internet would be out entirely. But that's just hyperbole, an exaggeration. Well, it is true. The rarity of such a situation occurring is considerable, despite this being a relatively common potential doomsday scenario, yet the most likely internet killer is only tangentially related to the weather, and that's because Claudia with a chance of meatball has covered the dangers of a- hold on, that's for another video. The reality is that the idea exists because of a certain people who are breaking the internet with their lies, deception, and abuse of its systems for monetary gain. The media is the worst part about the internet. I remember back in 2011, where I could search anything and find good info about it, even if it was occasionally fraudulent. Nowadays, corporations are so busy gaming the system for money, they talk about ideas such as the sun killing the internet with sensationalist headlines, which will appear in the initial search results because they've abused features taken into account by the Google algorithm. If anything has broken the internet, it was this. A once useful tool has been made more difficult to use in order to accommodate a money-making venue for corporations, which is currently just an issue you can solve by scrolling to the next page, but may eventually grow and consume until the internet becomes yet another method for greed. And I really don't think there's anything we can do about it. I just had an epiphany. We worry so much about things breaking the internet, we forgot to worry if the internet is breaking us. After all, it made my brain consider that earning a living from YouTube would be a dandy idea! I haven't been paid in months! Did this video feel particularly different because I got real? If that's the case, I sorta of apologize, but it looked like a fun thing to do and I did it.